From the timber mafia land grabbers to vandals, Kashmir's once lush green alpine forest cover has been at the receiving end of years of attack and neglect. That's the reason why some youngsters have now come together to make sure its barren landscape gets a, spl uh, gets a fresh splash of green. Nazir Masoodi has this report. Collateral damage of a violent conflict, once lush and green, Kashmir's vast forest cover has virtually vanished. Cut down by smugglers or lands cleared by the land mafias in pursuit of the real estate gold mine that the valley had become. Now a group of young volunteers from parts of the valley that were hit during the stone pelting agitations two summers ago have launched mission reforestation. Official records shows 13,360 hectares of forest land were vandalized and denuded in the state. And now this group has already planted 4,000 alpine saplings to recover lost ground. जो हमारी तबाही हो चुकी है, तो उसको हम जरा सवार ले, उसको ठीक कर ले। तो हम अपने volunteers के साथ यहाँ पे आ गए, तो यहाँ पे जब देखा तो सच में ऐसा लगा कि बहुत कुछ खोया है हमने। तो एक छोटा सा initiative उठाया हमने। The man behind the mission, Abdul Hamid, founded Rahim Greens using profits from his automobile business. His organization is planting 15,000 trees every year across the valley with a target of planting at least one lakh by 2015. state pine trees trees his decision to engage the youth from the valley's most volatile areas, downtown Srinagar and Baramulla, is a deliberate one. Many of them have been born and raised with no other experience but turmoil and violence, death and destruction. This Hamid hopes will give them an alternate worldview of nurture and regeneration. तब ही देखते हैं कौन सा पुल डह गया है कौन सा पुल बह गया है क्या नुकसानات हुए हैं अब हम समझते हैं कुछ ठहराव सा आ गया है और इस लिहाज से हमने इन बच्चों को ये दिखा दिया है कहां कहां नुकसान हुआ है और क्या-क्या लूट लिया गया है हमारा Just two decades ago this was a thick alpine forest today only trunks of the trees are visible here waking up to this vandalization youth of downtown Srinagar often associated with stone pelting, have volunteered to make a change. At Dadpatri, Nazir Masoodi for NDTV.